Hey, welcome to Sherwari's Mom on Board. Hello beautiful parents, welcome to Mom on Board. Before starting today's video, I just want to wish you all happy Guru Purnima. The day when I am shooting this video is a Guru Purnima. May your dream and your all wishes come true. You will get all success, all satisfaction in your life. May you get all blessings from your Gurus. So I wish you very happy Guru Purnima. So now moving towards today's topic, I think uh, it's a kind of uh, topic It's really very important for each and every parent because we are living in a digital world. Uh, we know that uh, the current generation, the children are very prone to all digital gadgets. They get explore more and more for the digital gadgets. Each and every child, uh, I think is uh, very well known to all the mobile they can easily swap the apps they can easily operate the touchpad mobile or laptop or ipad they can easily handle the video games so uh, it's very important to all parents uh, is really all this gadget mobile tv or all the digital gadget is safe for your baby or not this is today's topic so please stay tuned till the end it's really very important information so without wasting much more time here we are we are going to start our today's topic is mobile phone or tv or any digital gadget is safe for your baby or not before answering to this question i just wanted you give you the brief idea regarding what exactly world health organization says about the all digital gadget whether they are really safe for your babies or not I think in April 2019, they published their recent article regarding this and according to article, they said that babies below one year, that is from zero to one year, the babies who fall into that age category, they are not allowed to see or uh, exposed to any digital gadget 100% and the babies who are fallen in the range of two to four year they uh, may get exposure for the one hour in a whole day for their screen time. So now we are going to see the second point what exactly the side effect causes uh, to your baby's development or why exactly WHO given this particular guideline regarding the screen time on the basis of baby's age group because 90% of the brain development of babies is occurs in the range of the age group of 1 to 5 years yes 90% of the brain development so in this age group babies must be get engaged in different activities they should get different experiences in their life they should get the explore in the surrounding babies should get engaged in doing different activities in uh, they should have different exposures regarding the surroundings what exactly surrounding because at the age uh, starting from one to five year baby's brain is uh, empty what you are feeding uh, in their brain that is going to feed permanently so it totally depend on us as a parent what we are uh, exactly giving our baby that will show the reflection in their latter phase of life so it's very important what happened if the baby is not uh, get engaged in mobile or tv in this uh, particular age group or if he or she is just get happily uh, explore the things uh, he or she is having surrounding or learning different things then uh, it ultimately give positive effect on the baby's mental health on baby's skill development ability on baby's physical development and also on this social development it's very important because all these things will really give effect in their latter phase of life when they are going to their school or college it exactly gives the effect on their grasping capacity or in their learning ability so it's very important that your baby should not get engaged or should not get addicted to the mobile or tv in the age group of one to five years especially but it's applicable to the latter phase of their life also and what happened uh, if your baby at the same age group uh, is get just get engaged or they make a mobile or tv their uh, comfortable zone or their entertainment criteria then uh, that will kill or slowly eat uh, their uh, mental health their physical health and their social health also and plus on that their skill development activity also so as a parents is our responsibility that uh, what we are giving to our baby which is going to be useful uh, for them for 
whole their life in their latter phase for their all the mental health their social health their mental balance so make sure you are just limiting or you are following the who guideline regarding the screen time for your baby uh, according to their age group now we are seeing the what exactly the side effect causes if your baby is addicted to mobile or tv or any digital gadget what exactly the side effect causes there are different side effect first of all we are going to see that is the child obesity yes it's actually a very serious it's on number 1 currently in india because what happens baby just sitting uh, or lying down and they are uh, comfortable with their mobile or their tv and they are not getting bored because of that what happened in what quantity they are eating they are not knowing or as a parent we think that they are eating they must be hunger so we are just feeding them but they might get in excess quantity because of the sitting at the one place they are not having proper metabolism they are not having any physical activity and because of that just sitting at the one place and seeing tv and mobile for hours and hours ultimately that get get the negative effect on their physical health and the obesity is increase we know that the obesity is causes so much problem if we take example of ourselves that if our 2 to 5 kg is weight is just increased then we will feel heavy we are not getting comfortable we sweat a lot so this is exactly happens with babies also and in latter phase of their life that may causes the side effect on their heart also so make sure if you know that your baby is exploring more your baby is having more screen time then it it's in your hand that you should uh, cut down at the correct moment as a parents we have to take the hard decision for our baby's betterment for their better life in their future so make sure you are cutting down your baby's screen time if you notice that your baby is exploring more digital gadgets then the second uh, side effect is effect on eyesight or the weakness of eyesight yes we all of us knows that the mobile causes the so much of vibrant color if your baby knows that how to operate the youtube they can easily change the cartoon they can easily swipe on the uh, games so all the games or the cartoons they are having vibrant color they are having such so many brighten color that uh, definitely causes the negative impact on your baby's eyes and uh, if you are noticing that while seeing the mobile or tv uh, the water is coming out from your baby's eye then definitely the screen time is excess for your baby you should cut that at that time only for your baby's bright future so because of mobile the baby's eye uh, will uh, leak the water the eye muscle uh, get weak the babies will get spit at the early age which is not good for them this is all the side effect which is causes because of the excess screen time to your baby then the third side effect is sleep disturbance yes i will explain this point by giving the simple example uh, by ourselves that if we are lie down on a bed and we think that now we are going to sleep now i am going to sleep but uh, before sleeping i just want to read my book and by reading 2 to 3 pages just within 5 to 10 minutes you are feeling sleepy and what you are doing you just skip the book aside and you are going to sleep but instead of book if you are seeing the mobile then what happened we ourselves think that within 15 minutes i am going to sleep but instead of 15 minutes it's going to 30 minutes 1 hour 1 and half hour still you are awake because what exactly happened your eyes are even though tired your brain is not giving signal that i am actually tired i am feeling sleepy and because of that you are not going to sleep but what is the exactly the uh, positive point by reading the book that at the same point your brain and your eyes both are giving the signal that you are tired and you are feeling sleepy so by quickly keeping the book aside you are going to sleep mobile what exactly causes is just stimulate your brain and your brain is not giving permission to you sleep this exactly happens with our baby if your baby screen time is more then what happened exactly your baby is not going to sleep properly for the deep sleep the exact time period which is required your baby may get extra time for that deep sleep and because of that baby will awake uh, many times in a night your baby is not sleeping properly baby is not getting calm and relaxed sleep and ultimately because of that 
your baby's brain is just not getting relaxed we know that as our parents and grandparents uh, told us that as much as baby will sleep that much brain will be develop of that baby so this is exactly correct because in the age group of 1 to 5 year baby are so much curious they are learning new things they just want to speak they are just listening listening all the things they are just observing things so all things are just going in their brain and at the sleep time they are recalling all the things you will notice that most of the time at the sleep time baby will do like movement of hands or legs means what in a day what they had done they are just recalling or many times baby just saying something in their sleep so it is just recalling but if your baby is not getting proper sleep then your brain will not recollect all the things your brain is not getting proper relaxation and because of that brain is not relaxed means your brain is not getting signal that i am feeling relaxed i am feeling sleepy i am refreshed so because of that sleep disturbances occur if your baby is having more screen time then the next disadvantage is disconnect from the social environment it is mostly seen that if you given your baby that is some new games or some new uh, thing that is which is uh, very love to him or you offer ice cream but if your baby is engaged with the mobile phone or if he is in his comfort zone then uh, he or she may not get excited because of seeing that game or new things or new dress or ice cream because he or she thinks that mobile is the thing which is giving him new new things new new experiments new entertainment this is the only source for him or her for getting excitement for getting happiness so this is a disconnection from the social environment and many times we see that if the baby's friend uh, is at home or our relatives at home and if your baby is just get deep uh, in connection with that mobile or tv they are not uh, recognizing that oh my friend is here my relatives are there they are not just happy so this is totally a very risky condition for baby if your baby is having more screen time then the third point in a distraction from the social environment is that you will notice that if uh, your baby is deeply connected with mobile or tv and if you call him or her for two times three times he is not able to hear that means what he is in totally engagement with that mobile or tv this is totally totally very risky for your baby's brain development for your baby's social development this is the fourth side effect then the fifth disadvantage is baby will not get bored which ultimately affect their creativity yes if your baby is so much in deep connection with the mobile or tv he or she is just addicted to it then your baby will not get bored for hours and hours because he or she think that this is only my entertainment source this is my world what exactly the happiness is i am getting in my life this is just because of this your baby will just change the cartoons or swipe the app or just engage with the video games he or she will never get bored baby must get bored the bored word is very important because when your baby will get bored they will come up with different research or they will come up with different activity because of what they will get entertain themselves so bored is very important on getting a baby bored there are different article research is done and according to that research baby must get bored it is actually a one thing that will push your baby's brain to doing different things to doing researching different things or to explore the different things by doing research by doing different activity your baby will just boost up their brain and their brain will get sharpened so let your baby bored because of that your baby will come up with new activity your baby will come up uh, different creativity so because of excess screen time because of mobile and tv your baby will not get bored hours and hours and really really very negative for your baby's brain development then the last side effect is all of us knows that because of mobile radiations are coming out because of mobile there are so many side effect and we know that may be in later phase of their life causes the chances of tumor or the cancer for many times we heard we seen we read that at the time of sleep a mobile should not be near to your head near to your brain 
because behind that there might be a some science we must follow that so this is a very really dangerous side effect uh, which is uh, happen because of excess screen time or mobile exposure to your baby so this is all the side effect which is causes because of excess screen time uh, lastly i just wanted to say that i am not just saying 100% that this will going to happen with your baby but if your baby is having or your baby is on that path on the addiction or uh, getting mobile or tv or any digital gadget their comfort zone then these all points are the risk point you should cut down your baby screen time at that point only because that might get worsen to this uh, situation that may get worsen to this point so uh, being a good parent is really a very tough job as a parent uh, we have to compromise so many things we have to compromise our health to some extent also but it's all for our babies for their betterment for their better future so screen time minimization in our hand uh, and lastly uh, by this video i am not just saying that uh, mobile or tv it's totally uh, bad you should not give to your baby at all no this is not going to happen this is a digital world but exactly when and how we are going to introduce these things to our baby is very important because being too much uh, restrict or uh, because being too much strict parent that may also causes adverse effect on our baby's development our baby will not get mobile or any laptop or any digital uh, gadget in front of uh, their parents in hand but by going outside they may get in a wrong way to expose to all these things so as a parents it's our responsibility exactly when what and how we can give our baby so that our baby must be get comfortable with the digital gadgets because it's digital world our baby should get match up with all these things so it's very important now the most important thing uh, that chavar you told that at correct age uh, by correct way we should introduce uh, the all digital gadgets to our baby but exactly how this is the main question how we can cut down their screen time how we can get introduce all digital gadgets to them for that you have to watch my next video in that video i just explain all the correct ways all the method by which you can uh, cut down your baby screen time or if you are giving screen time to your baby then exactly in what way you can offer them uh, by sharing my experiences how i control raghav's screen time how raghav is not addicted all these things what exactly raghav uh, do in uh, his whole day so i am going to share all this information in my next video for that you have to watch that video also this is enough for a day very soon we will meet in my next video till then please take good care of yourself your family members and please be on board and be in touch